This is a tutorial for making eccentric cam for the Automata design. Previously, we have used round cam for our design. So, because what they call it, it depends on your design, some of you will be using eccentric cam for your design. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually make the cam by using the Tinkercad basic shape and the gener generator shapes. So first thing we are going to do, we are just going to make the uh, the box. So we're going to drag the box there and change the size probably to um, 40 by 40 and Change the height to uh, 8 for the thickness. So the next step, so we have a box shape here, but we are actually going to make it standing on the edge. So what are you going to do? Just what you call it, hover around the box when you click it, and you can see the protector so what you're going to do, you can actually just using one of your, your mouse, you can actually drag the box to make it 90 degrees or you can just change to 90 degrees Yep. so we have the and then we need to actually pull it up yep. so we have our first shape, the box, right? so we this will be our first shape so we're going to put a uh, hole in the middle so next shape what do you call it the easiest way to do it actually as I showed before put a plane on it the hole will be uh, diameter 8 by 8 and then once we have that going to put somewhere in the middle and push it in and combining both of them I'm going to get rid of the work plane first So you combine as it goes through, no, it doesn't go through, we combine them both. Right. Or the other method is actually to um, align them together, align and make it middle, which is much more accurate. So that still haven't goes through there. Right. I'm going to put a bit more in there. Now it's two. So we've done that. Click on both of them again. Remember that you need to group it to make the hole. So group it. So you have your first shape, your box. So the second shape that we are going to do, we are actually going to make the eccentric cam. Now, looking at the Tinkercad basic shape, the only makes certain shapes, but do not have then eccentric cam. So how are we going to make an static cam? Okay, you are going to use a if you want, if you click on the basic shape, you can see all the Tinkercad basic shape characters, connectors. You are going to use the shape generators here and use the featured function. Right. So what are you going to use? We're going to, we're going to drag the extrusion. So when we drag the extrusion, you will see another menu here. This is the shape. They will come originally will come with a round shape. But the shape that we are making, we are going to make an eccentric shape. 
this with extrusion what it means is actually we can actually pull and push so when we pull it push it it will actually change the shape you can change the shape of the cam see now it looks like a cam you can you can actually shape to whatever shape that you want it will just pull whatever that you like that you want All right so what are we going to do we are going to actually make the shape of the cam this is what we want we want the shape of the cam okay you can make a bit more larger here probably okay yep so this, this, this is the shape of the cam so when you have the shape of the cam you just click on it and just that looks how the cam shape look like so same thing we need to alter it depend it depend on what kind of a size that you want you can even what you call it later on uh, adjust the width by using um, your dimension it will actually change to whatever that you want okay once you have the shape and we still need to have a, a thickness of 8 for all our cam so we will have your cam shape so the next thing to do is to make this cam stand up so what you're going to do hover around it you're going to use the protector and actually rotate it to 90 degrees and pull it up to zero yep so that will actually so we have the two shape your box and your cam now the last shape that we are going to make we're going to make a triangle shape okay so i'm going to use a different going to use the to use the basic shape again but what we're we going to use we're going to use the scribble so what scribble mean is you can actually draw the sh to draw whatever that you want so in future once you want to make your profile you can use this scribble function or this scribble option to draw to whatever shape a profile that you want so i'm just going to drag the scribble here and when you grab the scribble another screen will come up for you to draw so we're going to make the triangle so using our if you are use an uh, iPad, you can actually use your finger. If you just if you are using your computer, tablet, you can use your mouse. Okay, and as you can see, when I draw when I draw the triangle, there is a preview on the side right side. So I'm going to fill all this, the fill up. the the uh, inner side because whatever that that is not colored will actually if I can change the uh, get to iris right it's like your pin raw But just scribble so I'm just going to just shape it yep pull everything in there you can even use your use this scribble to actually draw your uh, um, uh, eccentric cram if you want to but I found using uh, or you can even use a basic shape to create your triangle but this is just another uh, features that I just want to or another option that I want to show you that you can actually uh, use to produce your triangle okay so we have a triangle shape there once you are done just press done and then you have triangle shape there you go right so you can actually change the shape to uh, same thing to the size that you want okay so there you go you have another so the next step will what you call it same thing we need to make this uh, triangle stand so hover around it 90 degrees leave it up Sorry raise it up 
and you will have your three different type of cam the only thing that I haven't done is actually to make a hole in the cam so that, can, that your push rod can put can go through the body so, so to put the, um, the hole over here you can actually use the cylinder so as I said before use a work plane so it's more easier to work on and our size is uh, 8 by 8 and we're going to duplicate it because we're going to do it on the Santa Cam 2 so this is your duplicate So push it on the cam there, right? So the next step is actually um, place it somewhere in the uh, middle of the uh, both cam. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, and the next step is actually to actually push it all the way through. I think I made an extra for this one. I need to read the extra. Right. So now let's see whether this thing that goes through. Yep, it has. So next step is actually to remove the orange work plane over here. So grab. So once you have your cylinder inside your cam. Press shift key, click both, group it, it will become one piece. Click the triangle, click on your cinder, group it, it will become piece. Right? So this is actually how we actually create your different cam. So what we're going to do now, we're going to assemble all this cam into your tomata, into your crank. So what we're going to do, we're going to make it rotate to... Um, Make it 90 degrees all in single one all in single one uh, in one single line so we can actually push the push rod in here we're going to drag that one up uh, sorry about that yeah we're going to drag them first put it one side now we can actually save this particular profile or download it and actually export it to your next drawing I'm going to show you how to actually import and export things so for example you want to save this in another to save it for future use what you, what you will do you import import to 3d file no sorry you export it that means you download it, you export it, put it in object, save to a folder that you want to save. They will actually come in a zip. Right? So what you need to do, you need to extract the file that you have downloaded. You need to cut it. I'm going to put it in the um, one of a uh, Going there, mm, you can get file and paste it and then uh, rename it. it. Should be named camps there instead of a uh, right. and then you need to extract it. Extract the files here. So you have your file. Okay. So you have your like, files over here. Now, 
going back to the drawing so we have saved this one i have saved the uh, uh, previous file so what i can do i can actually download it So this is the file that I saved previously. I'm going to download. Uh, I'm going to import it. I think I might have erased it. Ah, oh. so this is the file actually. What you call it that you have actually imported just now. Okay. So. I'm going to open up the previous file that we have actually made for our uh, cam. If for example this one there. I'm just going to tinker it. As you can see, I've actually what you call it combine all the cam to the previous drawing. Right. So I'm going to show you. We're just going to delete this thing just to show you um, how you can actually um, import it. All right, we have saved the previous file, so we can actually import it again. Import the previous file that we have saved it. And all the files will be there. Okay. So the next step is actually what we can do. We can rejoin it and put everything in there. I'm just going to change the colors so it will actually differentiate. So that is how actually you put in your cam, eccentric cam into your automata. The best way for the best way I think is actually to import your frame rather than import your cam. Right? So import your frame instead of importing your cam. Okay, this is the this is the tutorial for your making your eccentric cam.